Good morning. It's Saturday morning. Today I'm going to head downtown. I'm going to get some stuff I need for um, my Ben Nevis trip, which I'm leaving uh, next week. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my hair cut. Get a cut at least once a month if I need it or not. So I'm going to go to a local barber shop that I've been using the last last year and that since the lockdown ended. Um, we're going to go down. I'm going to get to credit union. We're going to take out some money because I'm going to need some sterling for going over to Scotland. And uh, pick up a few, uh, few dry bits. Now, I've already picked up uh, some nuts and dates and uh, raisins. And I got that at the local uh, Aldi shop. It's the most eco economical. You pick up uh, large bags of uh, large bags of nuts and raisins and that for like under two euros. Whereas everywhere else they're really expensive. So I got some cashews, I got some almonds, um, cranberries and raisins, and some dates. So that all cost me like eight euros for the whole lot. And I'm gonna pick up some uh, plastic bags to put them in bundles and. Uh, and then also, uh, later on, I'm going to put together my packing list of what I'm going to be bringing and make sure I have all the stuff and I'll show you what I'm bringing with me to my uh, Ben Nevis trip. So for now, I'll just walk into town and I'll join you when we get closer. So we're in the South, south Main Street end. Um, we're just heading towards the uh, the barber shops. Here's this. It's very quiet this time of the day. It's quarter to nine. Uh, the barber shop opens up at nine. So this street comes to life after after about eleven o'clock. And there's a hustle and bustle of this Saturday morning. People go downtown. They go to shops. They get some stuff for schools for work. Get something to eat. Catch up with friends. There's uh, butchers there, a couple of restaurants, shoe store. There's uh, Patty Powers, the bookies, a couple of shops, sweet shops, and that. And then here's the here's the barbers that I'll be going to when it opens up. Okay, so I'm here in uh, Goodfellow's uh, barber shop. Uh, it's been here for. Quite a while. I'm going to have a little chat with the owner. He's kindly graced us with the, uh, the ability, and I'll get ready for my uh, trip up to Ben Nevis. So, first of all, and how are you? How are you? Good yourself? That's very good. Um, so, how long have you been in business here? That's good, yeah. Yeah, you've been here a long time though. A right? long time, yeah. Because I remember 12, when I came. 12, 12 years there. 12, that's about when I came here. I came here in 2008 mm -hmm. from Canada. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember now, yeah. Yeah, so. And then you've been here pretty much steady on. How did COVID affect you? Was it hard during the COVID times? Hard, yeah. Yeah. Hard time, yeah. <clears throat> and then now is it back to normal? Normal now, yeah. Everything's back to normal. Thank God, it's and, yeah. much, much better now. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully we won't have it again. So I'm going to just jump over here. Your man's going to give me my haircut. Okay. Get ready for Ben Nevis. Take care. Thank you. Alrighty. Take off my glasses. Now, yeah. I'm, now I'm blind. Now we're trying to get this on first before it's Yep. No problem. Yeah, so. How do you keep it? Good? Good yourself. Not too bad. It's fine weather we're having. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we've been around for... We've had a good summer, I think, eh? Yeah. In Not general, so compared to what we have. Nicer now if we were out in it, wasn't I? <laughs> <laughs> working in it, huh? Aye. Well, has to be done. Yeah. So you're going off another hike? Yeah, I'm going to Ben Nevis. Okay. And this, we're leaving, I'm leaving, well, early, early Friday morning, I'm taking a half three bus. All right. And going to Dublin from there, we're <laughs> taking a bus to uh, Belfast, mm -hmm. and then the ferry over, and then go up to Scotland and the Midlands and the Highlands, so. Right. I'm looking forward to it. Interesting times. It's supposed to be a very, considered a hard, hard to yeah. 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 So. Yeah, what number? On uh, one on the sides, oh, yeah. and then just trim on the top. And... Yeah. 
So what was the last trek you were on? Remember? I the Camino. I did the Camino, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And basically, I just decided to start this YouTube channel to uh, to ju- to show off Wexford, actually, to start off, and yeah, yeah. parts of Ireland. Yeah. Next next September, I'm heading to uh, to um, Kathmandu. Kathmandu, all right. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm going to go do a couple of the... Uh, the treks around there yep. in the next couple of years but I figured it'd be a good way to you know document it and for people and especially like in Wexford I was looking around and there's not a lot of you know YouTube channels that yeah. promote it and that yeah. so I think it's a good it's a good opportunity so I've, I've done the uh, around Ferry Carrick to Fort Mountain right yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, I've done Tamon yeah uh, I've done Bano to Kilmore Key mm-hmm. Um, I've done Wexford Town, the South Scarabby tour yeah, yeah, and that. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to eventually do uh, uh, Kirkwall Beach, yeah. you know, and probably Johnstown Castle, the yeah, Hook, yeah. Hook Lighthouse, Inniscorty, just, and then oh, anywhere yeah. else, yeah, yeah, just, yeah. just walk around showing, talking to people, seeing, you know. Yeah, it's funny, I think Irish people are slower to do these YouTube channels, you know I've seen a few oh, out really? there that are just, they sort of have the, uh, the camera on and then they just play music talking? they yeah, just play yeah. music in the background just, just walking the trees yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're a little bit out of the comfort zone talking and that but you yeah, get yeah. starting to get used to the uh which is unusual for people <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, not yeah. Talking. yeah they wait to talk but they yeah yeah not necessarily into the camera maybe or yeah. i don't know I like to travel and hike and stuff, so I figured it's a good way to blend the two together. Absolutely. It's nice to be able to do it. Yeah. Do it while you can, because you're going to get old enough where you're not going to be able to do it. So. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not going to wait till I'm 67, like the government wants to retire. I, I, plan, same. I plan on retiring at 60, which gives me just a little over four years. Yeah, yeah. So, and then I. Hopefully I'll have, God willing, another 10 years of good health and walking around Which and that. That's the thing, like, it doesn't make sense to retire. No, at 67, you, I mean, you might not. Already you can, already you can go with the weather, you know? Yeah. I know financially it's always going to be hard and stuff and that, but, you know, you have to weigh out what the difference, what's, what's important for you, you know? Is it busy on Saturdays oh, usually? Yeah, crazy. Always. I'm sure all the schools are going back. All the kids are going back to school, so oh, yeah. they're all being for haircuts today, I think. Yeah. yeah. At least we don't have to wear masks on that anymore. Oh, geez, that was terrible. Yeah. Getting your haircut with a mask on. <laughs> It's funny, yeah, you're talking about retirement and stuff like that. Yes. Like my partner have always talked about being abroad. Yep. And running a guest house. So yeah. We're looking at taking the plunge now next summer to Spain. Oh, and, uh, try to stay on one of the Camino routes. Nice and busy. Yeah, well, you always have turnaway. So far this year. Because we were looking in Andalusia. Okay. So well, location, is it? well, they have, there's about, I think, 14 different Camino routes. Okay. So they come from all over the place. So it, just, just Google it, look it up, and that, okay, and see if there's anything that can tie it in. Because, yeah, yeah. like, since the Camino's back open after COVID, yeah. I think. I, uh, they're going to have, I think, over 300,000 people do it this year. Okay. That's a lot of people. Lot of people. So, yeah. they all got to stay somewhere and exactly. eat somewhere. And, but Spain is a lot more economical to travel anyways. Yeah, yeah. Maybe have a bite there. Yeah, yeah. Plus, the weather's nice. It's very nice, yeah. I really love the weather. Right yeah. Although I don't mind the Irish weather. I'm one of the few people that think it's, it's all right. Yeah, well, I love the winter. So. So, I, I just like it. Like, when I came from Canada, like in the summertime, it would be 35 degrees yeah. hot. And then in the winter, it's 35 below. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you still have to work. You still have to go. So if you, 
you look at the weather forecast, if it was snowing, you'd have to get up an hour earlier to shovel. Yeah, yeah. Then you drive to work. You still had to work. You couldn't be late. Mm -hmm. And then when you get home at night, then you spent an hour shoveling again. So it's one thing to nice and visit and stuff. And you also had to have, you know, winter tires and yeah, winter yeah, clothes. Yeah. And whereas Ireland's the same all year round. It's like exactly. 10 to 12 degrees. When does it make us cold? Plus you don't, <laughs> you don't, you don't, you don't die from this. Getting right or wet or something like that. Although it did take me a year or two to get used to the uh, humidity. Because right. I found it was very damp. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, like, Plus the people are all nice here, especially in Wexford. I think. Cork, yeah, I, like, I love Cork and Kerry. I love Cork. That's where when I my first couple of years, whenever I had holidays of time, I'd take off to uh, Cork or Kerry. Um, it's always nice too, but it's always nice. I don't really like Dublin. It's just too big, too busy, and it's. I don't know, it's just, it's not my kettle and it's also very expensive. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, Cork is, Cork is lovely. I'll be, I'll be definitely heading out to Cork and Kerry eventually to do some videos, some vlogs. That's some sort of scenery there, you know? Yeah. And the gap at Dunlow, you have, yeah. even Killarney is just really nice, you know? Yes. <laughs> Actually, we were just um, last week. We went up to Wicklow. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, the mountains, really. We just went to the cottage for four days. In the middle of nowhere. Lovely. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Wicklow's nice, and uh, yeah, there is a few places that you can go walk around there. Yeah. I think there's so many places to, yeah. to explore in Ireland. It's, like, I don't think I'll ever run out of places to go to. Yeah. Oh, ben Nevis. Ben Nevis, yeah. So how long are you going for? How long does it take? Well, I'm going up there, we're staying three nights. Yeah. So we're gonna do Ben Nevis, and there's another mountain around there, and another hike. So it's like two and a half days of hiking. Um, so Ben Nevis is 13, 40, 13 45 meters. Okay. So it's the long, it's the highest peak in in the UK. Um, so it's supposedly a strenuous <laughs> enough. There's two different trails to take, so I'm not sure which one we're taking. There's either one called the Pony, the Pony Trail, um, or there's the other side, which is the uh, CMD Arret. It's a, it's a lot of rocks and you're along the edge of it. So. Uh, I'm going up there with the uh, mountain trails. It's a group that I just seen on Facebook. So supposedly there was a, uh, they go almost every week to different places and that, so I thought it was a good uh, good opportunity to, to go up. Plus, I get to meet other people that have like-minded interests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. But the mobile in Clarny for one week is 800 euros just for the, the weather? We stay in the mobile. Well, the weather's going to be rough. Like, chances really? are, yeah, because apparently it's like 10 degrees different from where we're, we're staying in Fort William. Yeah. And then you go up, uh, and then supposedly there's a 10 degree difference once you go up. Yeah. yeah. So I've got my uh, hat and gloves and winter gloves and wet pants for like winter pants. Right. Because there could be snow up there. The last yeah. year, this year is Which would be interesting too. Yeah. Normally people go to work because it's cheap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Supposedly it's a nice year, big view around yeah, there too. Yeah, it's yeah. It's yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. You would like. Yes, you, you have family. So I'm like, looking you know, forward to it anyways. And then big money. Big money. And in Clarence, then we went to know for the hot ride. Yeah. Fifty euro. Okay, you're retired, are you? No, I'm no, 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 I'm not. I'm still working. I'm still working. Sixty, seventy euros. Swimming yeah. one day, eighty euros. And then you're kind of you're off every that? weekend doing something. Yeah, and then like when I'm doing stuff around town like that, I can do it during the week. 
I finish around four in the evening. Yeah. So it gives, still gives me about three hours or so to run around and go to places locally yeah. and that. And then the weekends and then take some annual leave and uh, to go, like when I go to, when I go to Nepal next year, I'm going to take it. I just, I've seen a lot of the video, YouTube videos on it and it just really looks amazing. The Himalayas or something else. Today I'm just getting ready, getting all the stuff, I'm gonna take out some English pounds, get some snacks. And I'm gonna go through the packing, like what I'm gonna pack away to bring with me and stuff. Yeah. And then when I go up there, I'll be doing a couple of vlogs, like, you know, on my way out there and when I'm in there. And so I'll probably have about three or four videos for that. How long is the YouTube channel going? Going Two weeks. Really? Yeah. <laughs> it's getting there. It, it take, they say you need about a, a hundred videos or vlogs to hit the algorithms and stuff. So. Yeah. It's going okay. I have a, I think I have about 19, 1900 views already. Yeah. So, like I said, plus it's the hard part is getting used to the, uh, the editing of it, and I had to get a laptop and download and have a proper. That's time editing. It is. Uh, the first day it took me like, like eight hours just to try to put it together and that, and now it's getting a little better. I'm finding more tricks. The eyebrows and ears. Yeah, please. Yeah. <laughs> Have you been a barber longer? Oh, I, um, I went to London at seventeen. Okay. Originally Cork. Yeah. I moved down here. I was a teenager. And then I went off to London 17, trained in hairdressing and barbering. Took a lot of women's hair for a long time. Came back to about eight years later. Yeah. Opened up businesses, closed businesses, opened up businesses. Usually then the recession came and then again, 80 or why is women hair so expensive? Oh, because we can. <laughs> <laughs> like my partner, to get her hair, the daughters and that, they, they go to get their hair. They want like 150 euros in that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I never understood that. Like, I understand the dyes and stuff like that, maybe, but even just to cut the hair. <laughs> And I think it's also a social event for us too. Yeah. But that's why I uh, kind of got out of women's hair. Yeah. I'm driving a bit nuts. Yeah. Two and a half hours doing women's hair with fucking color and uh, yeah. Can't keep them entertained. That's it. Those men haircuts, they just want to get in and out as quick as. Yeah. 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 Thank you very much. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. You like it? Yeah? Yep, very good. Take care. Enjoy. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, 17. Okay, that's my hair kit done. Nice and short. That should do me for about a month. Um, now I'm just going to head into uh, one of the shops here and pick up some snacks. Uh, some flapjacks are called just some their oat bars high in calories and that just to you know have some quick energy for when I'm doing the hikes so I'm gonna go off and get that there now okay now I'm walking down Ann Street I'm just gonna go to the credit union and I'm gonna take out some uh, British uh, pounds I need a uh, need about a hundred pounds for 
the Ben Nevis trip. So I'm going to go into the credit union and get that exchanged. There we go. There's my 100, year, 100 pounds for Ben Nevis from the credit union. Okay, so that's the money sorted. Now we're just walking up the top end street. I'll show you the old post office. Really nice old building. And then there's a church right beside it. I've been to a few concerts in there. Once John Spillane played in there. So it's the Presbyterian Church. It's a nice old church right on Ann Street. And then you come up to the top and there's the main street again. come alive to the main street but it's still early yet it's only half nine and you'll see it gets busier like I said after around 11 
Okay, so I'm just here at Green Acres. I'm gonna have a cup of tea. And I'm just gonna go through the bill that I just got at Holland and Barrett. So all that, including the the little treats I got at the end, it was fourteen fifty. So that's very reasonable. I'll show you the list. Uh, And then now I'll just when I get home I will do the uh, the pack lay out all the stuff I'm bringing and I'll show you what I'm planning to bring with me to Ben Nevis and we'll see uh, how that goes from there good afternoon everyone so tonight I'm just gonna recap on what I'm bringing to Ben Nevis with me it's sort of like a packing kit list of what I need so I'm going to go show you and walk you through it. So here I have the wet pants. Then they zip up on the side with the uh, breathable rain jacket. I have my backpack, the laptop, the GoPro. You got my walking sticks. I have two sets of gloves. So I have a winter ones and then a smaller one, a neck warmer, a winter cap. Uh, a buff. I got my uh, my light for, that goes on your head, a torch. I got my passport and some sunglasses, my camera. I put together some snacks. So basically this has different types of nuts. Uh, cashews, uh, almonds, figs, raisins and currants and, and then I got a few other little treats. I got a peaked hat for the sun. I got three pairs of socks. I got three pairs of underwear I got some eye covers just in case if it's if I'm sharing rooms you know it's always nice uh, so you don't disturb anyone I got a pair of thermal underwear so it's long long pants and a top and a pair of hiking pants and then I have my boots and also a fleece I'm gonna take with me um, so base and then I got a couple of dry bags so this is a small little bag which I keep on my neck I'm gonna keep my my uh, my passport my money my wallet and then three wet bags these will keep everything dry so even though the um, the backpack is sort of waterproof but it's not all it's always great to have a backup so my food will be in one my clothes will be in the other and then electronics will be in the th in the third and this will all pack into my my uh, backpack this backpack it's a uh, it's a 40 liter I had had it in uh, the Camino with me and a uh, owes me no favors it's a very good backpack it has all this stuff same thing with the poles the poles were great so they help for when you're going to hide also I'm gonna bring on give these a try they're two hand warmers uh, two pa pairs of hand warmers and some wet ones just they're always handy and some earplugs just in case if I'm sharing a room and somebody snores well, they probably would need to borrow it from me because Emily says that I snore a lot so basically that's that's my kit um, this is what's going to come with me. Um, I'll weigh it out when we're getting ready to leave to go for the bus. And I'll show you that on Friday morning. Thank you.